Okay, uh, Shalom, want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadash, double honor to the elder, the great millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakariam, Shah, Yasha, Allah, peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Um, before we get started in this video, I'm going to say this, you know, it's for the, uh, the hopeful elect, of course, the men out there on the highways and byways, you know, um, Possibly could be the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from the old, which I believe that, you know, and I believe that the apostles of Great Millstone are the ancient prophets. I believe that, you know, um, that the Lord has show you brothers things as well as, you know, um, young brothers like myself, you know, but we got eyes, we can see, you know, and I believe that, uh, not just the apostles too, you know, certain um, elders and bishops are from the ancient world brought back to see the second coming of our Lord Yahusha. So it's very um, serious that, uh, you know, we checking out certain videos and, 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 and watching our apostles, our bishops, our elders, spirits, you know, uh, when they say something and when they going heavy into the prophecies, <laughs> because it's like we watch, uh, you know, Russia, China, you know, the U.S., you know, we watching the fall of these uh, great militaries of the day. You know, we also watching the uh, the uh, uprise of the 144,000 happening right before our eyes. So there's two worlds that's about to collide, you know, when you go into Daniel's the second chapter. You know, at the end of that statue towards the uh, from the top, you know, you had the head, which represents Babylon, which was the goal. But at the end of this statue that uh, Daniel was breaking down in Daniel's uh, the second chapter was the toes. And the toes was mixed with that iron and miry clay. You know, and that's what we at now. We at the end of history. We at the end of the fall of Adam. You know, when all the nations, they're speaking about the Gentiles, including Esau, the wicked, will be at their last end. And you know you can have a, a good foundation, you know. And that statue was standing on miry clay and iron, which show they can't mix. It basically, Yahweh Shah comes at this time, and those tools represents uh, NATO and the EU. So we're in a very serious time. But while we watching these prophecies, you know, we watching our our elders, our man, our, you know, our apostles and our bishop. We watching them close because, you know, the apostle put out something serious. You know, today um, on his, on his channel, matter of fact, let me just go to it real quick so you can see what I'm saying. And I believe this through the spirit. You know, the apostle was in was was he's always in the spirit, but he's speaking in the spirit. It says, um, "How long before they make the C hip mandatory?" You know, and I said I suggest you know everybody go over here, check this out, and check the information out also. You know, because. The apostle made a statement and it's serious. He said, um, this thing can go down within six to 12 months. And the way everything is popping off, the way everything is popping off, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is speaking, you know, and he's speaking through, you know, the generals, you're watching the generals, you're watching Putin, we watching the elites. The elites don't show themselves, but they do show themselves through these middlemen here. You know, including Trump and everything else. So we watch it, but we also got our eyes plugged on our apostles, man. Starting with Apostle Tahar on there. Because Yahweh Shah is going to speak certain things through these men. You know, a matter of fact, let me just get a scripture real quick. You know, so the, for the apostle to make that statement, there's a lot of things that took place today. Like we're going to get into this video, which show we are close. How close? Only Yahweh knows. Even Yahweh Shah don't know. When his return is going to set. But I'm sure. <laughs> Yahweh Shah's got to be standing up off that throne right now. But parent. This is uh, Job 8 verse 8. For inquire I pray thee. Of the former age. So yes we go into these ancient prophecies. But the prophets are back. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So listening and paying attention to our elders and our apostles and bishops that the Lord set up over us is, is paying attention to that former age because those same ancient spirits are here. So that information is on fire right now. 
So they're going to be speaking certain things directly in the spirit, like a telephone right from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah as we get close. It says, and prepare thyself to search for thy fathers, for we are but of yesterday and know nothing which is showing reincarnation. Because our days upon earth are a shadow. So these are the same prophets from the old. They're back here today. You know? So when the apostle was making this statement, you know, about uh, the MLTB, because everything is moving so fast, it could be here within six to 12 months. If you're checking out everything that's happening, you know, in front of you from behind the scenes, you know that, yo, that's, that's serious business. And we already in March, we in the third uh, uh, month of Esau's... Uh, uh, solar year, because that's what they go by the solar calendar. We go by the lunar calendar, you know, and we know the Passover is coming up in, a, in a, I think about two weeks. Well, yeah, about two weeks. We got the Passover. So, you know, things are preparing, things are speeding up. So we see the war, the war is on. We're going to watch this. Some heavy things was flying over your head today while you having lunch at Starbucks, while you out getting your favorite, you know, latte at, 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 at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Whatever you're doing, you know, you at Whole Foods, you at Trader Joe's, you at the juice bar, you know, whatever you was doing today, there's some heavy doomsday planes flying over your head and you don't notice because the news is not talking about this. They talking about that attack on uh, Facebook and, and Meta and Instagram today, which they had a they had a soft cyber attack. That is that's true. So everything is moving fast. So pay attention. Definitely at this time. When the apostles are speaking, because the, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is speaking through our heads. It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024, and I have an emergency alert to share with you guys. Right now, it is 1528 Eastern Time here in the United States, and we have some major breaking news coming in from Russia, Europe, and Asia. So apparently Putin has issued a final warning to the West verbally and in writing. And apparently he said, we warn you not to ignore it. It is the last warning. See, wow. all these calls right now, are you listening? And it might sound repetitive, but it only takes one time to be right. That's the thing. That's how dangerous the time just sitting in. Just one time. Now, he, he heard what he said. He said, this is the fight. Meaning, in other words, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to make a move, man. It's not going to always be like this to where, you, you know, you're getting up, you're stretching. Your biggest worry is going to work and, and fighting through your coworkers and, you know, planning out your lessons and preparing for camps. And, you know, you know, we, 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 we're hot. You know, the spirit is, is burning. You know, you're watching the videos. But the Lord about to make this thing very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. And it's about to go down. Now, you, you hear what, 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 what Putin just said, whether that's propaganda or not, we know it only takes one time to be right. So the tribulations is on its way. Like I said, the apostle put out that video, man. And when that MOTB drop, you prepare it for all hell. This is Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples, right? Which are the students. That will be us today. That will be us. And exhorting them, which always go down. And I love the Apostle Rakaz, you know, the spirit of the Lord got on him because th th that brother and, you know, and the, the elders and bishops around that brother, man, just, just a heavy spirit of exhortation, man. It's on all our apostles, you know, but the but Apostle Rakaz, hey, the Lord got it set up this way, man. You know, so it says to continue in the faith and that faith is that's this is not a light word here. Because the activations start with the faith. If you got that faith, you got something gold. You got a heavy machine gun on you. You got a heavy machine gun on you when you got this faith. Don't take it lightly. It's big. It's very, very important to what's about to happen. So it says to continue in that faith, walk with this weapon out right now. Not in your pocket. We got to walk with that faith in front of us. The faith walks first. It says, and that we must through much tribulations, because this thing about the pop. So with that faith, that's that shield, man. That's the, that's part of the armor. 
We must do much tribulations into the kingdom of Yahweh. And the kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is in front of us. It's within us. So you know this thing is about to pop, man. Okay, so this is Putin's final warning to the West. And this is coming just a few days after NATO held a meeting to discuss deploying troops into Ukraine. We heard that the French special forces were going to deploy to Ukraine. We heard that various allied countries, NATO allies, were going to deploy troops to Ukraine to operate air defense systems and do various things along the front line like demining and advising Ukrainians. So the situation is escalating, guys, and Putin has issued a final warning. And this warning comes also a few days after the conversations amongst the German Air Force officials about using German tourist missiles to destroy the Crimean Bridge was leaked out by Russia. And if that's what Russia leaked out, I'm sure they have a lot more intelligence. They probably hacked the German military to a certain extent, if they were able to intercept that conversation on WebEx, I'm sure they have a lot of other conversations like that and a lot of other intelligence that they haven't shared yet. Okay, but this is extremely concerning. We also have Russian authorities announcing a check of the population warning system in Crimea which is expected to take place next Monday. Now, that's, okay, that's so like the third one within six months. Now they're doing another check on, a, on, on population control. Look, so, look, these things, these are checks. These are checks and balances right now. These are things you should be checking for. You know, you, that, that, you're watching because remember what our Lord said. As a thief in the night, he's coming. You know, and these people, they in a spirit of um, peace and safety, man. It says, this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. Very, very important script right now. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. And these people, that's the mode they in. They're at ease. They're, 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 they're asleep. And you know, when you sleep, you don't want nobody waking you up. So when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And a lot of people asses out, man. And the Lord about to check them. Issuing a final warning to the West, verbally and in writing, saying we warn you not to ignore it. It is the last warning. Russian authorities announcing a check of the population warning system in Crimea. We also have U.S. nuclear forces on high alert again today. We had a doomsday plane in the air. It went from the D.C. area to Offutt Air Base earlier today. We also have some nuclear war command and control planes in the air and a nuke sniffer plane. So something's going to happen soon, guys. Okay, we have a massive amount of reconnaissance activity over Europe again. And Bulgarian military sources said that over the weekend, the U.S. sent F-35s into Ukraine mm. to scope out the Russian air defense systems. And apparently they were also practicing a bombing run. OK, so the situation is escalating. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. And Ukraine sunk another Russian warship. I'm going to show you guys some video footage of that. And there was also another cyber attack this morning. Apparently, it targeted social media platforms. People were complaining they couldn't access their Facebook and Instagram. There was also issues with Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, and WhatsApp. Also, various Google services such as Google Play and Google Search and Gmail were not working. So it appears that Meta and Google were hit and also TikTok, okay? So this was a massive attack across various social media platforms. So I don't think this is the big one. I think the big one is coming. I think these cyber attacks we've been seeing the last few weeks, first on the cell phones, now on social media, 
These are just uh, probing attacks, okay, small uh, test attacks, if you will. For yeah, the soft big runs, one, which soft I runs. You know, prepare, preparing us for the, uh, the, the Lord is preparing us. You know, those that have this right here, it's time to work it. It's time to work it, man. You know, they say work that jab, work that jab, man. It's time to work it. It's, uh, this is uh, 1 John's 2 and 20, but you have an unction. So us with this unction, that's an anointment. It's time to work it. It's time to work it. It's about to get extremely dangerous. You know, Acts 2.0 is about to start. I mean, it's time for action. Action is about to start. Then shall it be known who am I chosen? We about to be put in some uncomfortable situations far from home, some of us. You know, separated from your loved ones. Separated from uh, around your brothers. You know, you know, the Lord said, work out your own soul salvation. So this is a test for all of us. And it's about to begin. See, you see, everything is heating up and the spirit is getting heavy, heavy on our apostles, man. It's getting heavy. So we paying close, close, close attention. But you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. So with this unction, it opens us up. You know, to certain things uh, like visions that brothers are seeing, dreams. You know, certain things we're able to look into deeper, you know, than the average normal um, mortal walking around here, man. They don't know what's going on. They about to get hit with the whammy. They sit in ducks. But the Lord has given us that unction, meaning we got the we got the the uh, the bubs in our eyes. So we got the eye salve and it's going to turn up. Because this thing is going down. It says, I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, right? But because you know it. So John wasn't wasting his time. Just like uh, making these epistles and, and going out to camp. We're not wasting our time, man. Our apostles wasn't wasting their time for over 30 years. This is only for the house of faithful. This is only for the elect. And the elect going to get these messages, man. It says, and that no lie is of this truth. And we know these prophecies are about to take place. We know our Lord is on the way. We're not worrying about the incredulity of these, these feeble mortals, man. These walking dead bodies. We know what's about to happen. And Yahweh Rath we be saved out this mess. But as you can see, it's going down. It's blowing the trumpet. Russia has given his last warning. And there was a major soft attack on social media platforms today. There's several doomsday planes still over our head. They also sent one American plane, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. This was um, U.S. doomsday plane goes to bunker today. Went to the bunker. So what is all this about? What is all, if, if nothing's going on, why is all this happening? Because the Lord is about to show himself. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah, is on his way. So stay up, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKodash. Double, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And Salaki, you know, tripping over my words, I'm getting off the plantation. You know, but hey, things are going down. Akim Akwa, Shalom.